right, we're talking about wines here. Mm -hmm. I'm a red wine kind of gal. Can't Yum. do Moscato, too sweet. I'm not the biggest wine person, but when I am, it's white. So we're oh. opposite. Oh. Well, there you go. That's, I mean, just like people at home, they like both. I think a nice glass of Chianti is the way to go. Nice oh. red wine. I don't know what that was. It's Italian. Okay. <laughs> or everything yeah. Michael's She's Italian. Fancy. Yeah. It's in my blood. Yeah, for sure. Uh, tracking a really nice cool down. Well, I'll say really nice. People are going to say it's still hot because we're still going to be in the upper 90s. That's but fine. we haven't had good. a stretch of days yeah, in the 90s for quite some time. And so we will take yeah. what we can get. It's as substantial. We That's into, a huge difference. Yeah, for sure. And so this weekend trended a little bit warmer than normal. That was kind of the case yesterday, but also today. Yesterday's high was 107. 106, that was our high today. And then on record, we had 109. So at least we didn't get close to that record. But average high for this time of the year is 100. And so, again, you could just see why we're trending a little bit warmer than that. Seven degrees warmer yesterday, six degrees warmer today. Here's a look outside right now. Some areas that actually feels pretty nice out there in the 80s. Still hanging on to 97 here in Phoenix. 91 for Ahwatukee and for Maryville. 80s for Glendale and out to Peoria as well. So overnight, it will be pretty comfortable expecting quiet conditions for your day tomorrow. We'll spend a large portion of the day in the 90s. So every single day this week is actually going to be cooler than where we were at this weekend. And by the middle to end of next week, that's when we'll see some cooler temperatures into the upper 90s. For tomorrow, we're thinking a high around 100, 101 here across the valley. So by the time we get to about Wednesday into Thursday, the reason for this change, a little bit cooler weather, is because of this low pressure system. You can see this big dip in the jet stream here. This will cool our temperatures down again a couple of degrees heading into the later half of the work week as well. And then that should also create breezy conditions for us as we head into Thursday. What I don't think it will do is bring any rain. So unfortunately not tracking really any rain chances the next five to seven days pretty much all across the state. It's actually going to be a really nice week though, quiet and calm conditions. So if you wanted to travel around outside activities, everything is looking very good for that. 80s will be the case for Prescott throughout the next couple of days. 90s for Cottonwood. Heber and Pine Top will have temperatures into the upper 70s the next couple of afternoons. Flagstaff going to be very comfortable there mid 70s and then we'll cool things down Wednesday to 70 degrees for our high. 80s for Payson and Sedona and then also in the 70s in the Grand Canyon. So here's that 101 for tomorrow. Again, triple digits the next couple of days, but still cooler than this weekend. And by the time we get to Thursday, Friday, even into the upcoming weekend, those temperatures are going to cool into the upper 90s. So actually a little bit cooler than average for this time of the year. And those overnight lows are also going to come down into the mid to lower 70s. And remember,